Well, there are several reasons for Trump's actions. Uh, the Senate uh, bill, or a House bill even, uh, is not going to hamper his uh, ability to wage war unless it is passed by both members of Congress in sufficiently large numbers of uh, voting representatives uh, to be able to override any presidential veto. Then he would be limited. Uh, one House doing it uh, of Congress is, is not going to work. Uh, Trump's reasons for doing this are, well, myriad, if you can call it that. Uh, in his case, uh, he simply wants to uh, play up his macho uh, image as president, a wartime president, and uh, pursuing the uh, uh, his efforts to uh, shut down Iran, to pressure Iran as much as he can with sanctions and uh, uh, any other means to harm the, uh, the country and its people. Uh, he's driven by uh, his uh, right-wing base. He's driven by the, uh, uh, the Zionist base that's in his own family. His daughter and son-in-law are both Orthodox Jews who fully support Israel and its uh, apartheid uh, policies and its warmongering and human rights violations policies. Uh, additionally, I, there is speculation that I've seen uh, that says he wants to prop up the American oil industry. Uh, shale oil in the United States, especially in North Dakota, which is also a very polluting uh, way of extracting oil, uh, is uh, failing and crashing uh, because the price has fallen dramatically for oil around the world. And uh, I, the last I've seen for shale oil producers uh, to be economical in North Dakota you need oil at a price of $40 a barrel, and it's, it's way below that now. Uh, so uh, Trump, I, I don't think, really grasps what he's saying. He's uh, apparently trying to declare war by tweet. Uh, this business of uh, Iranian speedboats endangering a multi-thousand ton American warship uh, by sailing 50 meters away from the ship is absolute nonsense. That's no threat at all. Uh, if anything uh, were to happen, the, the speedboat would be crushed and rolled under the waves by the larger ships. Uh, but his efforts to uh, uh, provoke a war, uh, he's going to get a trigger-happy sailor on one of these ships who's going to open up on a speedboat, and then uh, the ship will be swarmed by uh, speedboats in retaliation and sunk. Uh, and this will probably give Trump what he wants, a chance to uh, go after Iran with everything uh, he can possibly send their way. Uh, to uh, justify his actions in trying to destroy Iran. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, it comes close to uh, the 1914 war where you had war by miscalculation with the assassination of the Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand in, in Sarajevo in Serbia. So uh, Trump is really playing a dangerous game. He, he and his uh, staff and whoever is advising him uh, don't seem to realize the consequences of their actions.